Hey YouTube, today I'm here in my office to talk to you about how I healed my autoimmune diseases naturally. Um, right after I had my son, about three and a half years ago, I had really bad joint pain. Um, when I'd get up in the morning, my feet would hurt so bad I could barely walk. My hands were hurting really bad, so I decided to go to the doctor. Um, I went to a doctor and they sent me off to a specialist, a rheumatologist. I was then diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, um, Hashimoto's disease, and possibly lupus. I went back to the doctor a few times. All she wanted to do for me was give me some medication, some anti-malaria pills, some steroids, and some um, anti-inflammatory pills. I'm not real into that. Um, makes you feel sick. I mean, the side effects from those are worse than the actual, my joints hurting. So I was, I was really looking for something else to actually heal myself. So, um, I started getting online, doing some research and found the paleo diet. And basically what that does is it removes grains and sugars, soy, anything processed or refined from your diet. Um, I also got off gluten immediately. So within one or two days of getting off of gluten, I noticed a difference in my joints. They weren't hurting as bad and my hands didn't feel as swollen. Um, so I was like, hey, maybe this is working. So I started looking into more things, started strictly following the paleo diet. Um, everything started feeling great. My energy was back. I wasn't so tired. Um, my stomach wasn't hurting all the time. My joints felt good. Did that for about a year and a half. Um, also found out that I have the MTHFR gene mutation, and that is where you can't methylate from your body. Um, toxins and stuff like that. So basically, I've got all this stuff building up in my body because I can't detox. And then with autoimmune disease, I have two theories. You either have a leaky gut or it's the Epstein-Barr virus that is left untreated in your body. So I went and along with the paleo, I started doing a leaky gut uh, repair protocol, lots of fermented foods, bone broth, um, light on the dairy, lots of probiotics, kombucha. I started making my own kombucha at home. Um, and then for the MTHFR, I started treating that with methyl folate and methylated B12. Um, if something's going to work, it's going to take about three weeks. I, in my experience, it's from uh, supplementation to work. So in about three weeks, I really started to feel good. Um, some weight started to come off. My skin started to clear up. Uh, I was happier. I had so much energy. I was just feeling great. So I did that for about another year. This whole process took me about three years. Your body can't heal overnight. So I never took any of the steroids or the anti-malaria drugs or anything from the doctor. In fact, I fired the rheumatologist and I found myself a naturopathic doctor. And um, we went even a step further and I did what's called the ALCAT. And basically what that does is test you for food sensitivities. So my food sensitivity list came back in the top 25%. It was basically like you can eat chicken and broccoli. And so that was really hard to follow, but I followed that diet for about a year. And what it does is those food sensitivities in your body cause inflammation. So I didn't want um, to cause any more inflammation in my body than there already was. So I removed all those foods from my diet. Um, and then it's now to present and I don't follow any of those diets anymore. I still eat keto, but I'm not doing the autoimmune protocol. I'm not doing the all cat and my hands don't hurt at all. My feet don't hurt at all. I feel great. I feel as good as I did in high school. I'm 35 years old. Um, I healed my gut. I know I did. Um, again, that took, it takes a while. It's not an overnight process. Um, I also wanted to mention some of the supplements I took. I was taking very high doses of vitamin C. Again, I'm not a doctor, so you need to find the right dosage for you. I was taking about 2,000 milligrams every two hours for quite a while. I took a ton of vitamin D. I was taking 50,000 IUs a day. 
Sorry about that. So I was taking 50,000 IUs a day of vitamin D. Um, I was taking iron. I was taking selenium for my thyroid. So my antibodies. So I let's get into my blood work. When I initially took my blood work, my ANA, I had about 2,000 antibodies. It was really high. Like I said, I felt awful. Then about after I started everything, about mm, a year later, my antibodies for my thyroid were at zero. I had no antibodies for my thyroid. My thyroid was still a little low, so I continued to take the selenium and the supplements for my thyroid. And then my D was finally in normal range. My iron was great, it was in normal range. My Bs were in normal range. So everything went back to normal, um, except for my thyroid is, were still, it's, it's in normal range, but we feel like one of them, the T3, is still a little low. So I'm still working on that. Um, but today, I just I try to stay off gluten. I eat it every now and then. I don't have any reaction. Um, before, like I said, when I would eat that, my joints would almost hurt within hours. Um, my, I was allergic to everything on my skin. I was getting rashes on my skin. I don't have that anymore. I do have some breakouts. I did some fascia blasting on my face and the detox and that. So your face breaks out. Um, but I'm feeling great. I am so glad I followed this route and put in the hard work and had the, the willpower to stay on the diet because otherwise I would just be still sick, probably worse. My joints would be hurting really bad. I'd be taking all that stuff. And like I said, the side effects for me are just, they're worse than the actual um, pain itself. So if you have any questions, please comment below. I'm really happy to help you. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me. I will be doing more videos on supplements that I like, on some of the foods that I ate, um, and just keep you in the loop with what I did to heal myself naturally from autoimmune disease. Thanks for watching.